nice sunny morning, light winds. Uh, I've been lucky with the night because there were, there were no squalls. Even I can see quite uh, high uh, some clouds around me, but I haven't been hit by any any of those. And now I can see them during daytime, so I can avoid them, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it was so nice yesterday. I was enjoying so much after these uh, terrible, horrible sea state conditions, which lasted like four days. And I was I was almost nervous breakdown during this evening when it continued. But uh, luckily, then it started to calm down during the night, and uh, and then uh, yesterday was a uh, poor pleasure. Even the weather was light and the wind was light, and maybe I didn't do my best tactical moves by continuing this northeast uh, corner. But uh, my boat, well, my routing said that I should go to the northeast corner to catch the trade winds all the way. Uh, but when I saw Alexia making uh, packing to north earlier, I thought that I'm going to stick on my routing because it was made with two, two different models. But uh, it looks like uh, Alexia has done good move and uh, now he's doing well and I'm in, in not so good position. But anyway, I'm enjoying a lot here. Yesterday was poor pleasure and uh, I got some good rest. And uh, I've been able to check the boat after this uh, slamming session, which lasted four days. And boat is okay. There is no no problem with the boat. And yep, I'm going this way still all the way to today. And then uh, winds should turn so that I can tack towards equator. And then it should be quite straightforward with the with the starboard tack all the way to next almost two weeks. And uh, that makes me also super happy. And you've still got um, conditions looks. You've still got your nice coffee left, have you? Yes, I have. I have, I have plenty of that, so I'm gonna survive for the next uh, four weeks easily with the coffee and uh, with the foods. And also, I have uh, lots of those chocolate bars. My only thing is that uh, the caramel bursale is running out, <laughs> but. <laughs> I can I can spend that one. So you're in. Uh, you're still going to keep going uh, northeast for uh, another 24 hours. Maybe not so far, but we will see how uh, how the last uh, forecasts are and uh, how does it uh, develop. It might be so that I have to go all the way 24 hours. But, uh, we will see. So it's around five, 150 miles to the point where I, sh- I should take. And now I have uh, nine knots of speed, so I'm quite nice. Speed and course is also good now. It's uh, 40 degrees, but during the night, the course was quite uh, variating quite a lot. The wind was changing like uh, 60 degrees, so it was a bit messy. But and anyway, did you? Been so relaxed. I'm, I'm enjoying, so enjoying being here, so it doesn't matter now, even if it's not the best option on the routing. What's the What's the air temperature just now? I actually haven't. I don't have air temperature, but it feels hot, and uh, the water temperature is uh, 28 degrees, but it's manageable under under 10 knots of winds, and when it's upwind, I can keep the front hatch open, and the airflow goes nicely, passes the my living area, so it, it hasn't been too, too hot. Until Tuesday evening, it was really bad because I, there was too much wind to keep the front hatch open, and then it was so hot inside the boat. And uh, but now on these conditions, it's much it's much easier. What uh, have you computed an ETA at all? When you think you might finish? Uh, I think it's going to be at the beginning of uh, March. It depends, of course, on the North Atlantic situation. If if we have to go around some low pressure like uh, the guys are now doing, it's going to take a long, long, long time. But hopefully we are luckier and uh, get more straight food towards Sabladolo after equator. That's what I hope a lot. It looks bad. I've been messaging with the peep and she was a bit... I like, think you uh, drew a bit of hurt. luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, true. So Pip was a bit worried if, he, if she's going home at all because she was closer to Bermudas than Azores.